Chris Petra here again with Miss G, and right now we're going to talk about shapes again, and this relates to your sketchbook and the kind of sketches you've been doing, but we're, I'm going to talk about a thing called shape grouping in the composition, and then I'm going to talk about maybe your line quality. So let's start having well, me draw. Yeah, because last time we did we did this, we did all the different shapes mm -hmm. and how what they were called. So what, how Now let's group them up in oh, a okay. composition. Let's make oh, cool. a composition. Cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, Miss Petra back here again, and I'm going to make a bunch of simple shapes, and they're going to turn into a composite shape here. And what I'm going to do is put a little horizon line in here, and I've turned that into maybe a pile of rocks um, up on the North Shore or something. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make some clouds, and I'm going to make those clouds like a composite shape again. This is a bunch of shapes grouped up. Now what happens is when I make these clouds, see you have a, a tendency to look at the similarity between this shape grouping and this shape grouping. Your eye goes like this across the picture plane. Now if I was to put the moon in here, right here, a circle, and then maybe put a ball down here on the beach or something, your eye has a tendency to look between these two similar, similar shapes. You don't really look up here. You immediately want to look up here, so it creates a, a movement that goes this way. Now, if I put like a square box on the beach over here and a square box on the beach over here, and I color them in and they're very similar, then we really look straight across at this. Look at that. So our eyes are going this way, and this way, and this way, and see, and that's, a, that's a way to divide up the picture plane, and see if you can find things like that in your drawing. Here's a, another quick thing, a quick thing you can think about, your line quality, and you can make really fast lines, or you can make really fast lines lighter, or you can make maybe a slower line, draw it really slow like that. That's a slower line. Or you could draw a slower line and then make it fast again. And these are different types of lines you guys can do. Here's a dotted line. So you see how many different types of lines there really are? Here's a, here's a line with a lot of rhythm. Here's a line with maybe kind of a braided rhythm kind of going through, we'll braid it. And, and look at that, isn't that interesting? Now here's a line with kind of more expressive, but uh, these are different line qualities. And look at your drawings and see what you have. Here's one that's created out of pattern, a pattern of circles. And that's lines created out of pattern. You could do that with squares, you could do that with almost anything. Here's this kind of a wandering, I don't know where I'm going type of line. I don't know even what I'm doing. I'm just kind of messing around here. And then we could have like your straight edge and we can go boom, make a straight line. So these are different types of lines. I want you to think about also in your drawings, the types of lines you make. Okay. So some of these things that I've showed you today in the drawings, you can look at your own drawings and see if any of these things show up and if you want to accentuate them or exaggerate them and make them even more pronounced in your drawings. And um, they'll just make your drawings better and you'll learn more and it'll be fun. Well, maybe I can put some of these uh, line and shape uh, types into my painting and maybe we'll see what, what happens and we can <laughs> check out a video. As artists, we always make changes to make things mm -hmm. better than what they were. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Patrick. Well, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye now.